Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ken Reed, and I am a counselling student looking to become a relationship counsellor for gay men. And this channel is all about helping gay men achieve better relationships with others, but most importantly, themselves. For today's topic, I will be talking about internalised homophobia. What it is, how it arised, and how we can work through it and deal with it. And you might be wondering, how is it that internalised homophobia is even a thing? How is it that the gay community can suddenly turn on itself after years of judgment and persecution from people around them? Well, the answer is actually in the persecution and how we adapt to survive. When we were children, if we were faced in an environment where we didn't have parents who approved of being gay, we had people at school who didn't approve of that, and we were made to feel that being gay was in any way, shape or form undesirable, something that was not supposed to be, something that put us at an extreme disadvantage, what happens is that we create an idea as to what being gay is. We understand it to have certain qualities and distinguishing features, and we don't want to be associated with that, even if we are gay. So what can happen is that we protect ourselves by blending in and trying to be similar to the people around us. Something to note here is that human beings are incredibly sophisticated. When we want to survive and adapt to any given situation, we will. And one of those ways is also by protecting ourselves to make sure that we're able to get the connection and also the feeling of security within a tribe of people. So internalized homophobia occurs when we recognize that we don't like the idea of being associated with other gay men. And what that can occur in men as they're growing up is that if they are gay, then they don't like necessarily hanging around with the image that they have created in their head as to what being gay is. And that can be often seen in the world of dating. So moving into, I'd say, early teens adulthood, a man has come out and recognizes that he's gay, for instance. What can happen is that we often see internalized homophobia being expressed in dating preferences, where you'll often see the derogatory language of don't want femme as an example of internalized homophobia. What this means is, is that a guy does not want to have a man who's in any way, shape or form effeminate might suggest that he's gay. And the reason for that is because at the back of that man's head is that image that being gay is in any way, shape or form not a good thing and that particular idea of being gay is in some way, shape or form weakness is somehow lesser than him. And so what often happens too, not just in dating, is the man starts to then develop a lot of behaviour that pushes him further and further away from that idea in his head. What he will do is often overcompensate in other areas of his life. For example, what he might do is try and build up a very successful career, have a lot of money, and also develop a really good masculine body. The reason for this is that he tries to strive for the image of what is opposite to the one that he's got in his head, which is not okay. He might want something of security, strength, stability, and also a sense that he's got his stuff together. So as a result of this, the challenge for a lot of these men is that with their internalized homophobia, they're also looking for something that's similar to them. They often come across a lot of men who are trying to appear straight, who are trying to fit in to protect themselves against the broader backdrop of the gay community. And so what they'll often be attracted to is men with very large bank accounts, with a great job going on, maybe someone who's very physically athletic and well-built, and the challenge for a lot of these men is that these surface level bling will sometimes entice them into very short lived relationships because what they're missing out on are fundamental qualities of what a relationship is all about because they're still scared of the idea of being connected within themselves to who they really are and recognizing that a relationship is built not on assets, but on fundamental values and compatibility. So what can we do in order to take away internalized homophobia? Well, we have to recognize that it's in us, that there are parts of us that are judging a lot of men on the streets 
recognizing that we don't think they're worthy or worthy company of ourselves. And we have to start thinking about why we're doing this. So one book that I found that was really practical for allowing greater self-awareness and also guessing our own behavior and action was A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle. You see, that protection mechanism that we develop, the adaptability to survive in those early periods of childhood well into adulthood, is often the result of our ego. The ego is a very sophisticated part of our brain that helps us in many ways through those formative years of school. But its role is outdated well and truly into adulthood and it doesn't serve us to have meaningful and authentic connections with others or ourselves. So a way of dismantling that, as mentioned before, is to start questioning ourselves when we start to think and act in a way that has behavior of internalized homophobia. If we catch ourselves saying something about another person walking down the street that we don't particularly like, who we think is gay, we have to take a step back and go, why am I saying that? And then the question behind that is, was there something that caused me to feel this way? And the answer is usually in the way in which we were brought up during school, during our early formative years as children. And when we start to unpack that, that is when we can realize that that idea that we had in the back of our head is just that. It's an idea and it can be replaced with a better idea. How about it can be replaced with the idea that there are so many loving, wonderful, evolved men in this community who would gladly be partnered and connected and looking to connect with them on a similar level. It's important to understand that internalized homophobia is a form of not accepting oneself. And in order to have a successful, meaningful, romantic relationship, one must accept all parts of themselves. And at any point where there's fear in his heart about who he is, it's simply not going to work out. So that is how internalized homophobia is created and also a method in which it can be corrected and removed. Thank you very much for watching my episode as always. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. And if you want to see more content on this channel, I'm doing videos here every Wednesday. Until then, thank you very much and see you next week. Bye-bye.